Good morning guys, I am just sitting down to breakfast, so I am going to show you what I'm having. I've got basically just a fruit plate, so um, I've got some grapes, these are strawberry grapes. Yes, that is what the variety is called, and these are candy floss grapes, and I've also got some apricots, and I've got some, this is just a donut peach that I've cut up already because I'm sharing them with my daughter. So. Yeah, that's my breakfast. I'm really excited. Last week I had mango grapes, and this week I've got strawberry grapes. Life is good. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. If you guys have an M&S near you, you've got to try these grapes. They're just really, really good. As you can see, it says uh, strawberry grape right there. Um, yeah, so I'm going to dig in. Oh, and fun fact, I'm not sure if these candy floss grapes are the same as cotton candy grapes that you get in the U.S. or not. These taste, they're really crisp and they taste like Sprite to me. I never really thought that when I had cotton candy grapes back in the U.S., but I was never really a huge fan of them. So if you eat cotton candy grapes in the U.S. and you do think they taste like Sprite, let me know. Because I'm wondering if they're the same or not. But anyway, they're good. So yeah, me and Riley are going to share our breakfast. Oh, and I've always got, I've always got water. Um, always. Anyway, me and Riley are going to start sharing our breakfast, and I will see you guys for my next meal. Alright guys, I am doing my lunch, so I've got an avocado here, because I'm going to make an avocado toast, which is really, really basic and standard for me. Um, so I've got my toast going in the oven right now, and I've also got an entire bag of kale in the steamer right now, because I'm going to just make a really simple salad with that. So I'm just going to dress it with um, some sesame oil some tamari and some sesame seeds. If you guys watch me a lot, then you know that I use these all the time. Oh, there's something back there that I need to wipe down. That's gross. That's dinner from last night, some soup that exploded. <laughs> um, and I'm also gonna have some of these heirloom tomatoes as well on the side. Riley is trying to steal my kale, even though she's got her own. Yeah. <laughs> so this is my finished lunch, yeah. and we're going to sit down and eat. throw together my dinner and, and I remember I have to show you guys what I'm doing so I've got just this um I showed you guys this in my last one I think but it's just a bag of char grilled vegetables that you get from the freezer section of Waitrose and you just pop it in the oven and it comes out like this and it's beautiful and it's delicious and I'm also making some pasta and then that's gonna mix, get mixed up with this so it's just gonna be a really simple easy delicious somewhat healthy dinner I forgot to show you guys, we've also done some of these meatballs for dinner. Um, obviously they're vegan meatballs. Um, and this is what happens when your husband does your portion. I've got a really <laughs> big portion and uh, we'll see if I can finish that or not. But Someone will. I'll give it a go. <laughs> Daddy's got a nice big portion too. I'm just adding. <laughs> I'm totally cut my fingers off. This is the last thing I'm having for the day, and this is just my usual Four Sigmatic Rishi Mushroom Elixir, and um, when I have just the regular Mushroom Elixir, I like to make it into a hot cocoa, just to help with the flavor, because it's not the most palatable um, thing to drink. So I've just added a little bit of cocoa powder and my usual Oatly Organic Oat Milk, um, and this is what I'm going to have to finish off the day. This is uh, Dunk's little nightly drink in the background. This is what he has if anybody cares or is wondering. He has a Puka Relax most evenings. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say goodnight and thanks for watching and I hope I see you guys for my next video. Bye guys.